Hello and welcome to another, uh, the second part of our Android Kotlin Firebase uh, tutorial where you are going to use maps to show markers on the map, markers that are created in the Firebase system. Okay, so what we are going to do, we stopped when we shown this one here, a okay? marker Sydney. Okay, we have one marker and it's here. So what we will do is take this thing out of here we don't want to show a marker anymore. If we execute it again, the only thing we're going to see is the map, empty map, okay? But what we'll do here is very similar to the process we did in the list fragment. We will request the download of all the products here and add them to an array of products. So let's start copying and past. I mean, because in, in when we develop, many times we have to just repeat things. I'm gonna copy and paste these lines here. Now we have a small number of problems. First, tag is not defined. So we'll define tag. Remember, tag is a, val a value that already always has the name of the class, just in case we have need to see log cat. DB is not defined. Now DB is the reference to the database. Again, in this class is not defined. Here it does, it is. So if we jump to the definition of here in the beginning of the class in fragment two, we just copy this line and we pass it here. So it is defined. Now the last part is the RI products. Okay, so RI products, um, well, we have two things. We're gonna see it right now. The RI products. RI products, uh, which is gonna be eventually the RI of markers or product we're going to show. Again, it's not defined. We're gonna go up here. I'm gonna copy this line here, which it's where we define it and we also create it, and we put it here, okay? Okay, great. Now line 53 is, in, is not necessary because we are not showing a recycle view list. We don't have this here. We're not gonna use this anymore. So it's just this here, okay? What's the idea? That is once we download the products and we add them to the RI product, we will execute the lines here, yeah, the number of times that the products that we have as products. So we're gonna do a for product in pro IR, IR products, in the array of products for each product, for each one, we'll do these lines here, okay? Now, the problem we have, I mean, what data we have, we don't have a point still, products don't have their own point of view, but they do have a name. So let's just put product that name. So what we'll do is that each marker will have as its title, the name. Sydney, instead of Sydney, I'm gonna call it uh, geo position. Okay, and let's put this here as well. Now, the thing is that we don't have this information, neither the latitude nor longitude, okay? How do we fix that? Very simple. We go to our, this one is not necessary anymore. We go to our database and we add, okay? We wanna add the fields, latitude and longitude. We can do that, we can do it a geo point. I mean, depends on what we wanna do. I mean, personally, if we're gonna use geo point, you have to be ready to, detect, to, de to find out how it's represented in, in Android Kotlin. I don't know, honestly, how it's represented. So I'm not going to risk it. I'm just gonna put uh, two strings, okay? Uh, latitude, let's put, I don't know, um, 40.7, uh, yeah. Longitude, Uh, minus three dot two. Okay. So what I just did is create two fields, latitude and longitude. If I add fields here, I have to do it here as well. Remember? So I have to add two more fields of type string. Sorry. Let's continue down here so we can see it all. Um, latitude. We have to have the same name. Remember, longitude. We're going to put them empty here and empty here. Now, the thing is that being them string, I think I'm gonna change it to to to, to double. Okay, uh, I know it's 
weird, but there is a reason, and it is that if I want to keep the zero zero here, it's very important. Okay. Now it, the thing is that if I do this, I have to go back here and change the type. Um, I'm gonna change it to. I'm gonna copy this, change it to number, put it here. Then I'm gonna copy this, change it to number, and put it here. And let's try it. Let's see how it goes. The thing is that we are. I just forgot. I have to still add the reference here. I have to use it. So I'm gonna put product latitude and product longitude. And if I do this in theory, one of the all the five of the four products should be shown. Now there is a small problem. Ah, yeah. Uh, because I changed this, I have now to add this. I have to fix it from my previous. This is from the previous tutorial. You can ignore that. Okay. Um, let's clean this up. Let's put this down and let's see how it looks like. So as you can see, one element is here, which is the PS5. Which is the rest, all of them, are down here. Okay. One is up here. Okay, so it's working. The PS5 is up there. If I add again, latitude, I don't know, my, uh, I guess it's 20.5, uh, longitude, longitude, number uh, 10.5 as well. So this is wrong because it has to be a number 20.5. That's why it failed. That's why it broke. So if I now execute this, I will see now two elements in different position of the map. Okay. Okay. I have some kind of a problem. Okay. There is some casting problem or if I to convert value type, I just fixed it. I don't understand very well. Latitude 20.5, longitude point, number, number. Let's try it again. There may be a problem in that it sometimes it catches, it has the catch, the catch, the catch of the, we have to clean this up and send it to the garbage can. Uh, but I will have to, to log in again, sorry. Well, in theory it should work, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm... Let's do this, okay, let's do it. Let's do it right. Let's take the app to the garbage can. Let's execute the app again. Let's log in. I don't remember login. Oh, I remember. I, let's, I think it's take this one here. Okay. If I go to if I go to the app, it will request me the email. Yoni, Yoni. Then this one. Okay. Now if I log in. Okay, now I'm in. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna store it. Now it's fine. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So now I have two elements more in the screen, as you can see. So that's the thing you can again now if you want to play around with it okay you can do a small extra and it what will happen if i change the latitude of the element from two three to four three point four to five point three point two to five point two so the thing is that it should show it yeah, it should make a jump and upload update the, the the map okay it's not doing it very nice it's good to see that it's not doing it but the thing is that because I am on this point here, yeah, in, th in theory, it should have upload updated the data. Okay. Now what I can do is before we do this, it's a good, it's a good, um, um, it's a good practice to clear the map before we show a new, uh, again, because we are hearing updates on that collection. Um, we have to be ready that if something changes, for example, it if it moves, as it moved now, 
I don't know where it moved. Up, down, I'm not sure where it is. But uh, if it moves, let's move it again. 30, there. So if, it, if this moves to, I don't know, to 15, Latitude, longitude, it's not being up, up, up the, it's not, I, I, I did some wrong, something wrong. Ah, the problem is, yeah, L longitude. Yeah, I wrote it right, twice wrong, sorry. Um, it's longitude, sorry, sorry, sorry. So if I add the field called rightly, I have to write it right, longitude 10.5. So, yeah, well, now it's... Again, this is, I have to kill it. And, and it, ha it has to be of type number. Okay. Now again here, add fill, long, three, two, number five, minus 6.8. Okay, now it's right. Now if I execute it, this time it should work without any problem. It will change also the position on the no, on the longitude yeah again i guess it stored it stored the wrong again they in the catch we have to again un uninstall the app install it again yeah that's one of the small problems we have here uh, firebase without our authorization uses the cache to ensure that it doesn't uh, really and it doesn't really up downloads the data all the time. Okay, so it's a way of ensuring that it doesn't really you know uses too much user data. But as you can see it, it moves, it's moving. So the idea is that you can now make an app that shows the real movement of products on the map in real time. Okay. And that's it. I mean, there is much other things you can do. You can add a marker. You can add the, to these markers because this thing returns a marker. Okay. Okay. So the marker, which is what it returns, you can add. Um, uh, where where is it? Or not? Well, you cannot do it to the marker. Sorry. Let's see if I can check it how I think it's in the map. I'm not sure I can't really remember. I think it's the map. To the map you can add uh, or set uh, on uh, on uh, on marker click listener or something to detect when a person clicks on the marker. Okay. Um, on marker click listener here. So this thing here, what it does, first you have to add it here, okay? On so it can work marker click listener okay it will require us to in to define uh, implement a, 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 a function which takes the clicks and then if we do this what we get down here is each time we have to return a thing that's true as well so what we're gonna get here that each time a marker is pressed it's clicked you will get here the marker that ju was just clicked. So you, what you can do is that when you press on something here, you can make a change. You can make like go out or show us something small on the map or whatever, a new fragment or whatever. Okay, so those are all kind of small tricks you can find around. And in time, I will try to show in the future more things about it. Okay, so that's it.